good evening world hello I would like to share my cooking tonight the <clears throat> sinigang the rockfish rockfish I wasn't certain if you're you guys are familiarized with a rockfish but uh, that is a very very good fish and I bought um this is like two slice it's cost me like almost fifteen dollars so i just it's in the bag already and i picked this one with a couple ha, the one head and split it in half and then the tail which uh less bones and the textures of the meat is very very soft so i have to cook this which i feel like craving um sinigang with a soup, which the ingredients that I would be putting on my sinigang fish is uh, tomatoes, onions, ginger, and uh, this garlic. And the vegetable I would be putting is the ong choy. I separate the like the stalks because I would like to put this one first and then the, the leaves. I would like to add this, maybe I I will add it if not enough vegetable because I would like to um have a lot of vegetable. The ong choy um, cost me, this is $5.99 a pound, so this like $7 plus is a little over uh, one pound. And I would be cooking this right now and... That's my my chihuahuas probably thinking that uh, there's a stranger here and should be should be, they should be quiet and uh, the the mix uh, Philippine lemon soup base that I would be adding is uh, lemon tiny lemon which is my, one of my favorite and right now I just use water because I don't ha I already cooked this I had I was I'm not certain that. I would be cooking uh, sinigang, which this is a brown rice. Okay, so let me uh, start with my cooking right now. So I put uh, water on a pot enough to um, put make a soup with my uh, fish. So first I have to put this, the garlic, then the ginger then the onions onions then the tomato i put everything together till it boil so once this one start to boil i have to put the usually i put the uh, Put the fish then I have to take it out because I don't want it to turn you know like overcook I put a little garlic salt and black pepper in it to marinate a little bit and have a good taste when it's get cooked so I have to wait until this one boil before I have to put the fish I went to Manila Seafood and I got this so in the future I would be cooking laing again but I know I already have a vlog for for the katnga uh, the laing with the taro leaves and as uh, I would like to have always um stocks and this one here the tomi I get this one because I still have those 555 in case uh, for uh, easy, quick cooking vegetable with uh, sardines and tomato sauce chili added in, in its can. And this is on sale three for two dollars and so I got uh, like six of them. And this he here is my one of my favorite when I because I was when I was a kid. We always have the bonita, which is tulingan, and this is a baby bonita. It's uh, 
baby tulingan and I let them uh, you know uh, at the store I let the guy fry for me and this is one of my favorite the uh, Philippine lemon for my sinigang and so, sometimes it depends what type of uh, you know uh, cooking you want to uh, make so I always like the calamansi mix instead of the tamarind which is the sampalok and once it start boiling I'm going to add this one there's the rockfish and this would be my dinner tonight and this uh, I don't cook that much anymore because it's only good for uh, two people mostly but if there's a leftover I eat it or give it away to the other house or the neighbor okay so my rice it's done my it's a brown rice and try to uh, cut down my rice because my a1c is a little elevated and I don't want that to happen and so I have to be very careful and I get this um, arroz caldo oh I got extra thing I supposed to get like two each of them I guess I grab one extra arroz caldo which is two for three dollars or dollar fifty a piece and chicken sotanghon for like a quick uh, if I get lazy to make something so I got arroz caldo dalapas bachoy and uh, it's nice that I uh, have something stuck for a rainy day, you know. And that's the reason why I have to get some things. This is on sale too for three dollars. Uh, the lapas bacho too for three dollars, and the uh, chicken sukangon too for three dollars also. So this one about to boil. Oh, it's boiling now, so I have to put this um, this fish. This is a rock fish. Go over there, rock fish. See that? They're all fresh. So I want to cook it fresh. I don't want to put it in a, you know freezer and cook tomorrow I would like to cook it right now while still fresh and the tail another tail with a lot of meat and another tail here because this this um, cost me like um, eight dollars eight something and because this is uh, $5.99 uh, a pound and I, I was thinking making salmon but I do that next next time and I, w I didn't make this for a lo very long time I have salmon over there that I fried and still in a refrigerator because I you know like I, w I would like to eat um, fish with with sabao which is soup so fish with um, ong choy. This one here, the ong choy, which is the kangkong in in Tagalog and in Bicol. This is kangkong, and this type of a kangkong, the uh, the, the leaves is very uh, tiny, just like the Chinese, um, you know, leaves. You know, Chinese um, kangkong. Chinese ong choy, like a bamboo shoot sleeves, and this is the one. This is the vegetable I would like to add up in my rockfish. So once that one start boiling for maybe like uh, three to uh, five minutes, then I have to take it out so I can. Put the ong choy, the kangkong, because I don't want this um, this fish to, you know, the meat start 
to fall apart. Okay, I'll be right back. Now it's been boiling. Um, I took this fish because I don't want it, uh, the meat to start falling apart. That's pretty much done. And I have to put this uh, ong choy, which is the stalks. Because I want to make sure th those are uh, cooked. And I don't want to be eating uncooked vegetable because it's hard to be uh, digest. So I would like to uh, cook, pretty, make sure it's pretty cooked and should be done anytime. I, I wait until this one like half cooked. Then I will, I will add this, the leaves. Then once it's done, the, the vegetable, I'm going to put the fish back. And then I'm going to add this uh, calamansi mix. Then put, of course, the all-in-one magic to make it sarap and yummy. Okay? So, maybe I have to put the eggplant. It's fresh eggplant, so I'll probably add it up. Let me slice it and I will add it up. I decided to add, uh, put the eggplant instead so I have more vegetable. Because I love vegetables. And my husband gonna be coming home in a few minutes. And uh, I would like to make sure that all this uh, cooking done before he come home so he could eat. Uh, you know, fresh sabaw, sini, you know, the sinigang, rockfish, and for dinner. Okay, so I wait until that one cook. I have to, uh, where's the lid? I have to put cover so it boil and while well, it's while well, it's cooking oh it's right here so I, will, I have to put the lid and cook quicker so I'll be right back okay this been boiling for a couple minutes and it's been halfway cooked those uh, stalks so I have to put these leaves added to the my uh, cooking because earlier I it's overflowing so I have to add this I don't want to cover anymore because it's overflowing so once this one done the vegetable I have to add this uh, fish I'll make sure that I wouldn't be um, you know mixing it mix while um, cooking or boiling because this is gonna be don't look good anymore and uh, the bone will be everywhere and we don't like that to happen okay i'll be back hello i'm back and i think my husband is uh opening the door and my food isn't ready yet okay i it sh should be here in a second hi hi i'm not done yet with my vlogging my cooking but it's almost just need to add all these ingredients here and then put this fish back over there so it don't get, um, you know, fall apart those meat. Okay. So, you hungry? Yep. Are you hungry? Yep. Okay. It should be done in a few minutes, okay? Alright. Okay. Oh, we should be eating shortly. Sorry. So, the vegetables... Uh, pretty much done 
it's not over done but it's done so I put back the um, the fish so it stays whole and it's a lot nice look nice nicer so since it's done I have to put this calamansi mix my favorite calamansi mix so it's up to you how much when you do some cooking like this it depends how much you want like to put so it will taste more sour it's the better so mmm that's authentic and now I have to put this magic I will put a little bit and should be good this is very very delicious it came out really good everything came out good he should li like that now I have to put prepare this in a bowl if maybe he's not gonna be eating rice because usually he doesn't like rice but since it's a uh, brown rice he may because this soup should um, good with with rice on the side because rice usually for Filipino are the main uh, dish it's just like American their main dish are bread and that's that's why we always uh, eat rice because Filipinos eat a lot of rice it's because that's their power power of rice so I have to put some on the bowl so I can give it to my husband be right back so the sinigang fish which is the rockfish already done so I'm, I'm going to uh, give this dinner to my husband now this is his dinner for tonight the rockfish sinigang the soup with with uh, uh, what's this? The lemon, calamansi lemon, and the brown rice, and this bonito, baby bonito, and his favorite um, tomatoes. He can eat this old tomato, and he can eat all this, because he loves my cooking. Well... Thank you for watching my vlogs and until my next cooking, I probably make sinigang or other type of a cooking and, and you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's eat now. Yummy, yummy. We're going to eat now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.